That's a big ulcerated nodule, lots of inflammation. Atypical spindle cells, really atypical. They're kind of making fascicles. What do you think? Nodular melanoma is a great thought. Spindle cell melanomas that are nodular often make fascicles. So do leiomyosarcomas, that's another thought. And I definitely have had times where I thought something looked like muscle and it'd be a melanoma because it'll make fascicles and they're kind of plump cells. Spindled squame, AFX, all that stuff, right? So this one would stain with keratin and P40 or P63. So this is a spindled squame. You, they can be essentially impossible to distinguish unless you have some area that's more differentiated. I can't, as a sarcoma pathologist, I did a whole sarcoma fellowship. I cannot tell you what kind of sarcoma that is by that field. I can't tell you if it's a spindle squame or a melanoma or an AFX or a undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma or lyoma. I can't reliably tell you. You just have to use stains on things like this. And it really does make a difference in behavior. If that's a spindled squame, well, it's not great, but they're going to get around it and they'll be probably fine. If that's a spindle melanoma, that patient's going to have a problem. So it's a big difference. If you're not sure, be sure. Do a stain. A lot rides on that.